Yeah, the old-fashioned way. Yeah. Okay, so on the topic of, this is part three, by the way, of sources of authority, we kind of bled over into a different area. Who is my neighbor? We just talked about that. So anybody you come across. So if I'm going to do the right thing at the right time for the right reason, love God, love people, how am I? How should I behave towards somebody I just meet if they're my neighbor? The way I would like to be treated. So what does that look like, do you think? Do I want to be punched in the nose? So why would I punch somebody else in the nose if I wouldn't can treat you like the way I want to be treated? Do I want to treat, be treated respectfully? Yeah. Do you want to be treated respectfully? Yes. So you know the best way to get respect? Treat other people with respect. Hmm. Interesting. Are you... Uh, what's that called when you do that? Dab. Is that dabbing? No, I'm just going. Um... You want some homework? Sure. It's not hard homework. In the Bible, I think it was, I don't know if it was a lawyer or who it was. There was somebody that came to Jesus and they asked him, what are the greatest commandments? You know, what's the best, what's the biggest, best, most important rules? You know what Jesus said? He said, pineapple water needs to exist. He might have said that had he had pineapple water by by. Um, he said, right here, love God, love people. Yeah, but love bye, your, bye bye. Love your neighbor as yourself. Not si- sponsored, but I want to get sponsored. Yeah. Love your neighbor as yourself. Hmm. So the man asked, so who's my neighbor? And Jesus tells a story about the Good Samaritan. You ever heard the story of the Good Samaritan? No. All right. That's your homework. Okay. Find out about the Good Samaritan, and we'll report back next time. Now, before we go, because so much of today has been about love, I wanted to. Do you, have you heard, ever heard of 1 Corinthians thirteen? Um, I don't know. If I it's have. a, it's a, uh, it's a chapter in the Bible. It's called the love chapter, and it describes what love is like. So, if I'm going to love my neighbor, 1 Corinthians thirteen, some of the verses there say, "Love is patient." Love is not pain. Love is kind does not envy. You know what envy is? Kind of. To be jealous. Love does not boast. It doesn't brag. It's not proud. Uh-oh. Love is not rude. What? Shut up, man. Yeah, exactly. It is not self-seeking. It means it doesn't seek its own way. It's not selfish. It's not easily angered. Ooh, that's a hard one. It does not or keeps no record of wrongs. You know what that means? It doesn't keep score. So it's not like if somebody does something to you, you kind of go, oh, bad mark for you. You know, we talked about three strikes and you're out. Mm. That's keeping score. So love doesn't keep score. Love keeps forgiving. Love is patient. Love works with people. Does not delight in evil. That's kind of self-apparent, I think. Rejoices with the truth. I like this one, partially because of kind of what I do for a living. Always protects so that we protect other people. We protect people who can't protect themselves. We advocate for people. Love always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres, perseveres. You know what that means? Yeah, keeps going. Sticks to it, exactly. And most importantly, love never fails. Okay. That's where we'll end for today. What's your homework? Buy never fails. What's your homework? Buy is love. Buy is life. You could be a... Buy. Buy. You could be a... Oops. uh, Ad agent. Making up... Taglines. Anyway, um. So, what's your homework? Search up the great. Sa- what is it? Yeah. Sa- Samaritan. Samaritan. 
You're going to find out about the Good Samaritan. Great Samaritan. Peace.